Hey guys, today we're doing an unboxing of what else? A new drone. This is a DJI Phantom 4. I've been shooting drone footage with the Phantom series for at least three years. I started out with version 1.1.1, went to version 3, and really liked that one until last week when it suffered a terrible crash. And that led me to the Phantom 4. You might ask, why did I get a Phantom 4 instead of a Mavic Pro? Well, Mavic Pro is pretty hard to find right now. And we're out on the road traveling around some beautiful parts of the uh, American Southwest. And I really wanted a drone immediately. So I went with the Phantom 4. So I'm just going to show you in this video kind of what you get when you pony up the cash for a Phantom 4. There goes the box. Inside the box is actually a pretty nice uh, little styrofoam feeling container. It looks, I think, more rugged than it is. I mean, I can just uh, tell from the touch. It just feels hollow like styrofoam. I don't know if it is styrofoam, but it probably is. But there's a little latch, locking latch on the outside. And I've unlocked it now. So it should swivel open. There we go. So inside the little styrofoam container, which is actually quite nice, we have the Phantom 4. So here's the drone itself. And one thing I really like about the Phantom series is everything is fully integrated. I mean, you've got a really nice uh, camera and gimbal apparatus built into the drone so you don't have to worry about strapping on a separate camera and getting all that rigged up it's all done at the factory for you and dji has come a long way over the years with these things i mean my first version phantom seems so crude and primitive compared to this thing this looks more like a, a really polished refined product and uh looking on the back we'll just quickly look at the drone body itself battery is plugged in and the battery comes about half charged and uh, the the gimbal is currently being protected by this little uh, gimbal protector apparatus that of course you want to remove before you fly and the phantom 4 the cameron gimbal it's a little bit tighter and better integrated to the body than the phantom 3. this is a different battery than is used in the phantom 3 unfortunately because i had three <laughs> phantom 3 batteries but uh, apparently it's been redesigned, it's better, it fits to the body better. Um, the whole drone itself is a little bit more sleek and streamlined. And um, the big selling feature for the Phantom 4 uh, are these two cameras on the front of the drone. These cameras apparently see the world uh, to a tune of a 60 degree angle and they allow the Phantom to avoid collisions, at least collisions when you're moving forward into objects you know, that it can see. Now, it's a, it's a shame that the cameras are not on the back of the drone and the sides of the drone as well. I think that's kind of a shortcoming of the Phantom 4, but I don't know, maybe it's a cost measure. But underneath the Phantom, you will also see a couple of what are basically sonar sensors that allow it to know where the ground is. So, you know, the combination of these devices really helps it fly without crashing. Not to say you won't crash it, but it's just a little bit additional safety. So I felt like in comparing the Phantom 3 to the Phantom 4 that these sensors were probably worth paying extra for because if it saves you from one crash then uh, that can be a big deal. That could total your drone. These things use uh, micro SD cards and DJI gives you a 16 gig card here that's already installed in your drone. So that's the body of the drone. Now let's see what else we've got inside. We have, uh, of course, the props. Props, again, have been redesigned for the Phantom 4. Uh, they're a little, bit, a little bit different design than the Phantom 3. I think they will lock into place maybe a little bit better and we have of course the battery charger uh, which has an external brick so the first thing I'm gonna do is charge my battery and then we have uh, here is a cable uh, which apparently uh, I guess will go 
with the controller if you're using an Android device because it looks like a micro SB cable. And the controller itself, the controller to me looks exactly the same as the Phantom 3 controller. So they haven't really changed up the controller at all from Phantom 3 to 4. The controller is kind of a big bulky apparatus but um, it does do a pretty good job of gripping your phone or tablet and uh, unfortunately you must use your own device uh, for the LCD display. It doesn't have an integrated LCD display. And what else do we have in here? I see something hiding down low. It's another cable. I don't know. That looks like another. Okay, this is a micro USB adapter of some sort. And the manual. Uh, so maybe I will RTFM at some point tonight. So that's pretty much it. Phantom 4, what you get in the box. Again, I found that the upgrades of the Phantom 4 probably merit uh, the little bit of extra money over the Phantom 3. It's a tough call, really, but again, if it saves you from one catastrophic crash, then it was cheap insurance. So that's it, little simple unboxing, guys. I gotta go charge this battery and get you some drone footage. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel, lolojo.photo, where I talk about various uh, gear that I use to produce my other channel on YouTube, which is called Long Long Honeymoon. Check out Long Long Honeymoon if you want to see the results of some of this gear in action. You can see uh, the drone footage that I shoot with this thing over there. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Please subscribe. Until next time, lo lo ho.